mm-hmm. course, as promised, we're in conversation with Lucy Musa. Mm-hmm. She has a new album. She's got new tracks coming in, great videos, and she is uh, back in the country. And for for now, for now, until like we make her, you know, like feel like you know what, I want to stay here permanently. Mm-hmm. Permanently. But we're having such a good time discussing her music career. Uh, we wanted to a get a feel of what she does, and she said, you know what, Kenyan babe based in Australia mm-hmm. went there to study. Um, but music, I guess, was your first love, yeah. right, Lucy? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. You're like, I have to give back, yeah. Music was my first love. Um, during my study life, school, primary, as far as I can remember, I've always loved music. Choir mistress, singing games, hey. all that. Acting, yeah, yeah that, that has always been something that I was passionate about. But, you know, like typical African families, but things are shifting now. Mm-hmm. Back in the day, you want to be a musician, what do you mean? Mm. Huh? What are you so it was, what are you talking yeah, about? Because mm-hmm. you clearly look for a real hey. job. You know? <laughs> I know what you're you got to be doctors, lawyers, and all that. Mm-hmm. So I was caught up in that culture. But right now, my mom has warmed up to the idea, like, you know, you're grown now. So, mm-hmm. yeah. And she really loves it. She's very supportive. She's She was actually one of the video vixens in one of my videos nice. in South Ooh. Africa. Yeah. Oh, nice. she, she's the one who introduces the song, Ooh, Wee. That's my mom. So oh, that's yeah, her. Yeah, yeah. That's my mother. Nice. Yeah. In the car, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah in the uh, car. Dope. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. So, things have shifted. And mm-hmm. here we are. Um, yeah. It's mm-hmm. been a long journey, but I'm here. It's been exciting for you. You started music way back. Uh, not way back, like, yeah. but, but but a little bit. Let's talk six years back. Yeah. And you're, you went by a different, uh, you're christened by a different name. What happened in that you decided, you know what, I'm going to rebrand. Yeah. I'm going to call myself a Lucy Musa. Yeah. What, because I knew you from a song with Kidum, I think we're going to get a chance to play it maybe later. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah so most Kenyans, uh, not most, uh, <laughs> some of the Kenyans yeah. mm-hmm. would remember me as Nini Zera. Mm-hmm. So I feel like now that I'm back, I'm, it's kind of like I've evolved to who I am now. Lucy Musa is actually my name, my name. Mm-hmm. My mother named me, sorry, my dad named me Lucy and my mom named me Moses, which mm-hmm. is Musa in Swahili. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's actually my official name. And I feel like um, it's not just singing. There's a message to most of the songs. It's real life experience and there's a lot of authenticity because um, this album, I've written all the songs mm-hmm. and it's, it's, it doesn't go to say that I don't entertain the, the idea of other people writing for me. Mm-hmm. I just feel like it's so deep because it has so much to do with my... Um, practice as a therapist there's so much and truly finding myself in myself Mm -hmm. so there's 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 a deeper meaning to it and i just feel lucy musa suits i don't know it just feels right Mm -hmm. it just feels right when i'm on stage i I can't explain it's just a feeling Mm -hmm. that i feel like yes i am lucy musa i've embraced myself and you know sometimes when you're trying to really work on yourself which is a forever commitment it's more of um i feel like Ninizera and other names that I gave myself, you know, at some point, mm-hmm. guys knew me as Lucy Goodwin mm-hmm. in the wine business. It was mm-hmm. more of riding away from something that I don't even know what I was running away from. Mm-hmm. So I feel like I'm finally home. Like mm-hmm. I've embraced all of me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's really uh, exciting. I know we have to listen to Ui and you're going to be introducing it right now. But what's the craziest thing uh, that happens in a room when you say that you're a therapist? Do people um, go like, people like, like, yeah, what, yeah. Do, what can you tell about me? Yeah, just look at me. Tell me what <laughs> <you do. laughs> How does that go when you tell people you're a therapist? Uh, most people are, um, they think that you are reading their mind. Mm-hmm. Most times they're like, oh, oh, so you can read my mind. Mm-hmm. Um, some people are shocked because they think, oh, I don't know why people think I'm in beauty or something like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because you're gorgeous. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, people are usually like surprised that, yeah, that's a part of me and I really kept it to myself for a while because it was really sacred and the times that I've spent with my patients was uh, I, fe- I met God in so many ways mm-hmm. you know so it was a very very precious moment in conventional medicine mm-hmm. but now I tend to practice more of alternative mm-hmm. and yeah but most of these songs have so much to do with all the lessons that I've learned over yeah. so many years just know yeah. that you can't be my therapist and I can't be like you too often 100% I mean I do have to your button yeah. 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 Uh, so, so we're going to be listening to Ui in just a bit because Burner Boy has something to say in anybody which is a song that I really loved the sax Saxophone in it. Uh, talk to us about Uwe. Uwe, Uwe, hey, Uwe. Yeah, I was just like, I think every woman has had a moment where she's just like, Uwe, you know? Uwe, yeah, Uwe, yeah, Uwe. Yeah, uh-huh. that story. And that's a sentence, complete. Yes, it's a complete <laughs> sentence. That song, I was trying to, I was in that, you know, it's a long story, but I'll just cut it short. 
Uwi is a song that um, the whole intention is for any woman out there who has suffered some sort of romantic scam mm-hmm. to truly not be embarrassed about it. Mm-hmm. I am someone who I've experienced it and I was really truly embarrassed. Yeah, You're going to tell us about, <laughs> about that story.